Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, God is Good, and our scripture is Jeremiah chapter 23 and Psalm 100. Jeremiah the prophet writes, What sorrow awaits the leaders of my people, the shepherds of my sheep, for they have destroyed and scattered the very ones they were expected to care for, says the Lord. Therefore, this is what the Lord says, the God of Israel says to those shepherds. Instead of caring for my flock and leading them to safety, you have deserted them and driven them to destruction. Now I will pour out judgment on you for the evil you have done to them. But I will gather together the remnant of my flock from the countries where I have driven them. I will bring them back to their own sheepfold, and they will be fruitful and increase in number. Then I will appoint responsible shepherds who will care for them, and they will never be afraid again. Not a single one will be lost or missing. I, the Lord, have spoken. For the time is coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous descendant from King David's line. He will be a king who rules with wisdom. He will do what is just and right throughout the land. And this will be his name. The Lord is our righteousness. In that day, Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety. And then Psalm 100, verse 5, For the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever, and His faithfulness continues to each generation. From a human perspective, it seems a reckless thing to say God is good. Amid the terror and tragedy with which we live every day, murder, mayhem, darkness and loss, how can one possibly think a benevolent God would allow such? Another log on that fire is something I hear from time to time. If God is good, why would he even think about crucifying his own son? Well, the goodness of God is seen in both of those questions, the one about God allowing harmful stuff and the other one about God causing harmful stuff. The questions are more about us individually. We know ourselves to be so much lower than God and the evil of which we are all capable. Reframe more accurately the questions and they become, why do we do such awful stuff and how can we do all that to ourselves? The answer to both questions is found in nailing Christ to the cross. It isn't God who crucified Jesus. It was each of us who was pounding those nails with our sinful lives. Jeremiah recounted what God said about man's sinful misleading of others. Instead of walking with God, humankind has always walked in selfishness, and we lead others to do so as well. That's what led to the cross. And as for why God would participate in the evil of the cross, how else would God identify with us, love us enough to take our place on that cross, but to willingly give himself a sacrifice for our sins? The bottom line to those age-old questions is that God is indeed good. He displayed that for all to see just how much he loved us in all that goodness. Such are the words penned by Isaac Watts. See from his head, his hands, his feet, sorrow and love flow mingled down. Did e'er such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose so rich a crown? For you today, it's easy to blame God for what happens to us, or the darkness and pain of this world's evil. It's easy, but not right. Nail scars and a thorn-pierced brow make that point always and eternally. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.